Sometimes to know a certain information, it's not able to answer a problem. Here's an example. If you pick a point on the side of a wheel, you will see a wheel roll route and it will draw a being called a white line. A white line looks like it was taken from the circle, but it is a special line. How do we deal with this line? To solve some problems, for example, the space between the white and the ground, to understand a complicated piece of a good method, it is to divide it into more simple parts. How do we understand this shape? First, it is from a, it is a complete wheel that is moving in a wheel. It is a complete wheel that is moving in a wheel. It makes the shape of the width a wheel. We can use a round radius to measure a wheel. To extend the wheel, we need to have a little more than six triangles. To be more accurate, it is a two parts of a wheel. The shape's height is the same as the height of a wheel, that is 25. We don't consider the side of the wheel. We can take the shape from the top center to the bottom corner to find a corner to create a triangle. The triangle's height is 25. The bottom is 2 pi, a half. We can cut this triangle into two. It's a two pi shape. We can cut this three pi into two pieces and reorganize the surface, making it a 25 pi pi, a half. The surface is 22 pi, two. This gives us the center part, but we have the two side of the round shape. This shape is opposite. This means that these two pieces are both in the same direction. We can put them together to create a round shape. We use a round shape wheel as a measurement of the three pi shape. So let's see if we can do the same thing. The flat shape's height is the same, but how about the width? These two shapes have a constantly changing width from small to small. If we play with this, we will find that as we're crossing these shapes, the width is the same. If we cut the flat shape into we can move these little pieces together, making it a perfect circle. This means that this shape's space is the same as this circle's space. We can divide the circle space into more and more smaller shapes. The space's height is a half shape. The width is a two pi two. We can put these shapes into a shape. The shape is a half shape and the width is half a half shape, or pi two. The circle space is a half shape and it is a half shape and it is a half shape and it is a half shape. The total is a two shape. The total dimension of the whole shape is a two shape, and the two shape is a two shape. Is this useful? Of course, all these types of formulas have unimaginable practical uses. However, in everyday life, few people really need this formula. But I think this formula's real use is to be a practice of thinking. The latter is just a search for a problem and a solution for a problem. We are dealing with a complicated problem, dividing it while seeing its mode, we don't understand it. The math can help us to get the original thinking ability. In this way, we can face the semblance of an unknownful thing, dividing it and letting it be unknown.